Bickley and Murata. Bickley and Murata mornings. Arizona Sports, the local sports leader. Bickley Blast. Tyler Murray said the magic words yesterday, super and bowl. That's what he wants. That's what he expects. That's why he's playing football. And I believe that mindset has never changed. Like Tiger Woods, another phenom carefully groomed by his father, I believe that Kyler believes he is special and different and that championships are his destiny. But what has changed is everything around him and everything else inside of him. I believe Murray is now comfortable being a leader because he no longer feels like a kid in a room full of adults. Experience and maturity have given him self-awareness to understand the importance of leadership and the confidence to express himself with authority. I also believe the new Murray is very in tune to the low expectations expressed by the national media. In fact, during media availability yesterday, he had to catch himself before going off on those national pundits and man I wish I could have heard what Murray wanted to say because Kyler Murray remains a fascinating polarizing highly entertaining high ceiling athlete and I can't wait to see what Kyler with receipts is going to look like in coming months I like oh yeah I wouldn't I shouldn't have said that but I was about to say something crazy (laughs) 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 no um uh no, uh, yeah, I mean, no, I don't, I don't really pay attention to that. No, no, no. That was the reaction when I asked, hey, do you pay attention to the Vegas over under mm. total of six and a half wins? We, we joked about it before, but it might have been something as simple as, yeah, blank those guys. <laughs> or what are they nuts? Are they idiots? Do they not know who I am? Yeah, listen, I, I don't know, but, but that's, you, you rarely catch Kyler catching himself like that. Right. Because I, I don't think in the past Kyler really absorbed that or was yeah. aware of that stuff. But again, I, I, this is a different place. And if, and if I happen to be Kyler Murray and I think I know and if you think you know what Kyler Murray what makes him roll, y- 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 you have to think that on some level he he wh- whatever he's aware of. If he looks at these quarterback rankings and sees where the Cardinals are slotted and, and sees a team that is, you know, picked to win six and a half games, you would hope he would be ticked off about that. Mm -hmm. You would hope that there would be some part of him that would go, don't you know who I am and what I do here? What is it that you do here? I am really, what what was he going to say? Here's the beginning. I like, oh yeah, I wouldn't, I shouldn't have said that. I like, oh yeah, I wouldn't, I shouldn't have said that. I don't think he was going to say hammer the under. I like, I like the odds. (laughs) Yeah, I I was going to say like, I like the odds, I like, I like the over on that or something, or I like maybe I don't know. I don't He's got know. A tilt. I like. Oh yeah, I wouldn't. I shouldn't yeah. say that. Yeah. So it, and again, I think that one of the things there were there were four, three or four or five things he said yesterday that were literally music to my ear. Well, not literally. <laughs> Metaphorically no, part, speaking, that the part were where like, he's saying, I thought was <laughs> right. Know, that was gorgeous. kind of music to my ears. But the one thing that he had to say about being able to gel because because people around him are of his age group and he can lead people because now he he feels like a, an experienced veteran. Yes, and, and I uh, to me it's so revealing. And you and you think about Kyler Murray is the kind of kid that would have never ever admitted, "Hey, man, I'm swimming here. You guys are asking a lot of me." Mm-hmm. But you you go back and you think about all the doubt on him because of his height, um, all the people who criticize the Cardinals. What are you doing drafting a quarterback in successive drafts for? Then you think about all that doubt playing out with a kid coming into a locker room, not knowing his backside from his elbow. Mm-hmm. And then you got a room full of veterans who are, nah, I got a snake in my boot. Oh, wrong sport. He's not on that. Team. He's got a room, but he's got a room full of veterans who are, you know, jaded and 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 they've seen it all, and then the, and and they don't like kids who come out of college with crazy amounts of hype. I don't know how in the world anyone expected Kyler Murray to take the reins. Well, think about it. Also, not only that, he was coming into a system with a new coach, where everyone was told on the team and in the media that this guy knows the system better than yeah, the coach right. does. That's so, right. So it, it, it almost was like this is a second coach for the offense. So anybody, you know, follow his lead. Yeah. There's a lot to put on him. I mean, yeah. that's still, uh, an awful lot. That whole assertion still might be true, actually. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> that he didn't know the system. Well, <laughs> more than Ky- than a cliff, yeah. But. Listen, and, and there's a couple of concessions that Kyler Murray has that that makes that shows that size is an issue. His comments about Greg Dortch yesterday, mm-hmm. about how Greg Dortch, if he were six three, he would have been a top five pick, and and nobody knows better about about that than him than Kyler. So, I, and then then you look at him. We know Kyler Murray is tough. We know he's strong. When he throws an interception, he's about the hardest tackling quarterback you're going to find in the NFL. And yet he also doesn't want to get hit. And so a lot of times people have seen him sack himself in the past and thought he was soft. He's not soft. He's just he's just very cognizant of his size. It's it's just kind of an it's the cousin of quarterbacks now in 2024 will get lauded for, hey, just throw the ball out of bounds. Don't force the ball down the field. Live to fight another day. Now, if it's an incomplete pass, you're not obviously taking a yardage loss. What Kyler does and has done throughout his career, because he does avoid contact very well and he's very cognizant of it, is kind of related to that. It's live to fight another day. Don't put the ball in jeopardy. Yeah, we might be behind the sticks, but let, let's do it again. It, it's harder to swallow for a lot of people because mm-hmm. there is a yardage loss there. And everybody wants to be inspired by their quarterback, always keeping the play alive or breaking tackles or making some ridiculous play down the field. And he still has the ability to do that. But um, it it shows it it does show a maturity or responsibility in addition mm-hmm. to yes, an aversion to being yeah. being hit. Yeah. Uh, one of the th- you talked about his leadership and, and talking about, you know, being one of the older guys. But one of the things that stood out to us this offseason was Kyler Murray's public facing persona as an NFL quarterback, as a leader of teammates. He talked about traveling with his teammates and bonding with them this offseason. Yeah, I, again, I think it's I think it's really valuable, you know, to, to get to know your teammates, to get to, um, you know, just be around them, you know, because obviously it's not college anymore. And I think, you know, it's kind of lost in this league. You know, you, you in college, you're around those dudes every day. And, and you know, you're hanging out, obviously. Um, you get to the league, you got guys that have families and stuff like that, but I feel like that's controllable. You know, I just think it's something that uh, if you put the effort into it, um, you can still kind of have that feel. And I think this team is very, you know, I know we were tight last year. I feel like this team is even more. Uh, and, and I know, it's, you know, it's been a lot of new guys, but the new guys have, you know, made an effort to, you know, really embrace the culture, embrace, uh, embrace this team. Some people might suggest, hey, you know, Kyler Murray was real tight with his best friend, Hollywood Brown, and it did not equate to on-field chemistry. Mm-hmm. But... This is still a plus because this was not Kyler Murray's MO early in his career. He was very Completely. very much to himself. Completely. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so for him to kind of embrace that, it it's it, it it's authentic. You can tell. He it, it, it doesn't sound like a kid who's forcing it. Thanks for watching Bickley and Murata. Click to see the latest Bickley Blast and hit the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.